Okay, hi everybody, welcome to Electric Car Converts YouTube channel. This is the first in the series where we're going to convert my 1985 Land Rover 90 to electric power. Um, as you can see, she's restored, she's got beautiful paint, all straight, no rust underneath, absolutely lovely car. She's pushing 40 years old now, um, so, you know, we got to let her off that she's a bit smoky out the back, she's not really got any power, but this is the kind of car that's going to be fantastic for electric, okay? So let's have a quick look around it. As we can see, we've gone to a, it's gone to a soft top. We've got a beautiful interior there with actually Land Rover Discovery seats in it. Um, and here's the smoke coming out of the, out of the back. Now this is because of all kinds of engine problems that I've, you know, I've had them fixed many times, but to be honest at this point, I've had enough. Why not go electric? Um, as you can see, she's my pride and joy, but let's have a look in the back. So here we have five Tesla batteries. Now these are out of a 2019 Model S, and these five batteries are gonna get us about 80 miles of range. Uh, put on a Hyper 9 motor, they're gonna give us about 100, 120 horsepower, which is gonna be fantastic in this car. It's about double what it's got already. Um, but yeah, so that's why we're converting it. Is we're gonna make it green. We're gonna make it very eco-friendly. It's gonna be almost free to run. We're not going to pay any tax. We're not going to pay any ULEZ charges. I can't wait for the day where I don't have to fill this thing up with, with diesel because, you know, it cost me 60, 70, 70 pounds and I don't really get very far because it's so uneconomical. Now, there are loads of cars out there like this, Land Rovers, MGs, Mercedes, whatever it might be with very old diesel engines in them that just really aren't they're not reliable. They're really hard to, to maintain. They're expensive to run. Why not convert them to electric? Um, so give us a ring. And we can see what we can do for you. But um, now let's take it back to the workshop and start pulling things out of it.